The family said as customary, all arrangements were already made for both the memorial and burial services. However, while they were gathered at the homestead, they were informed by a funeral undertaker that the police could not hand over the remains for the scheduled burial pending DNA results although they are in possession of a death certificate. We as a family are not against the conducting of post-mortem exercise on the remains of the late Nepembe. We are not happy with the fact that the police in the region who are busy with the investigations did not care to tell us. We spent a lot of money in the preparations, money that we as a family struggle to put together. Where will we get help when his remains are finally released back to us? This is a really big inconvenience to us and we want the government to assist us in this. Contacted for comment on Sati Police Regional Commander, Commissioner Ismail Basson says, it came as a surprise to him that the family was not informed on time about the changes. Commissioner Basson, however, explained that it is standard practice that when someone dies in a fire beyond recognition, there ought to be DNA tests. He could, however, not state when the DNA results of the remains of Nepembe would be released. Dapandashuya, NBC News, Oshakati.